Thomas Midgley Jr. was born in 1889 in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. In 1921, while working for General Motors in Dayton, Ohio, Thomas investigated a compound called tetraethyl lead. Even though lead was known to be dangerous, it could be found in all manner of consumer products. Food cans, water tanks, pesticides, wallpaper, paint, even toothpaste tubes. Hardly a product existed that didn't bring a little lead into consumers' lives. But nothing gave it a greater legacy than its addition to motor fuel. is a neurotoxin that builds up in the body and attacks the brain and central nervous system. Symptoms of lead poisoning include blindness, insomnia, kidney failure, hearing loss, cancer, palsies, convulsions, abrupt and terrifying hallucinations that give way to coma and eventually death. On the other hand, it's easy to extract and almost embarrassingly profitable. So 100 years ago, in 1923, three of America's largest corporations, General Motors, DuPont and Standard Oil, formed a joint enterprise around Midgley's inventions, the Ethel Gasoline Corporation. Their mission? To make as much tetraethyl lead as the world was willing to buy. And that proved to be a deadly amount. Almost immediately, production workers began to be poisoned, developing confused faculties and irreversible delusions. At least 15 workers died in the early years of production, and untold numbers of others became violently ill as the corporation hushed up leakages, spills, and poisonings. As rumors of the dangers of their product abounded, Mitchley stood before a team of journalists, proclaiming safety, pouring tetraethyl lead out onto his hands, holding a beaker under his nose, counting to 60 seconds, and claiming that he could do this every day and it would cause no harm. But the fact is, Midgley was already very ill. Buoyed by the success of leaded petrol, Midgley now turned to another technological problem of the age. Refrigerators in the 1920s were often appallingly risky because they used insidious and dangerous gases that sometimes seeped out. One leak from a refrigerator at a hospital in Cleveland, Ohio in 1929 killed more than a hundred people. Midgley set out to create a gas that was stable, non-flammable, non-corrosive and safe to breathe. With an instinct for the regrettable that was almost uncanny, Midgley proceeded to invent chlorofluorocarbon. 